Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the triangle mid-segment theorem. So let's talk first about what a mid-segment is. It says a mid-segment of a triangle is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of the triangle. All triangles will have three mid-segments that form what we call the mid-segment triangle. So if we look at this diagram right here, we have a big triangle, triangle ABC, and we have mid-segment triangle DEF. So our mid-segment triangle consists of the three mid-segments. We saw that the mid-segment of the triangle is the segment that connects the midpoints of the sides. So we have vertice D here um, is creating side AD and DB, which would be congruent, so it's uh, bisecting that side essentially. So all of our three sides of our big triangle are being cut in half. So that's why we see these tick marks here saying that those segments are now congruent. Okay, so let's look at an example um, to see if we can figure out a couple characteristics that this mid-segment theorem has. So here's our example, we have triangle ABC and we have a mid-segment in there, um, DE. Okay, so it says, how is the slope of segment DE related to the slope of segment AB? And then what about the distance? How are the distances related? So let's talk about the slope first. So for the slope, we have, let's say the slope of DE, okay? So we're gonna go up one, two, and right two. So that's gonna be two over two, which is equal to one. And then we can find the slope of AB. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and right one, two, three, four. So four over four, which is also one, okay? So what's true about the slope? They have the same slope, which means they are parallel, okay? All right, so now let's talk about the distance, okay? So let's, let's find the distance of DE first, okay? The distance of DE. Well, point D is located at one, two, three, three comma two, and point E is located at one, zero. Okay, so we're gonna use our distance formula to find the distance between these two points. So I'm gonna say three minus one squared plus two minus zero squared. And our distance we get, three minus one would be two, two squared would be four, two minus zero is two, two squared is four. So we get the distance equals the square root of eight, and we can simplify that because we can pull out a, fa a factor of four and four is a perfect square. And we can call this two root four, right? Excuse me, not two root four, two root two, okay? Because we pull out the four, square root of four is two, and we have two root two, okay? So our distance here is two root two. So now let's find the distance of segment AB. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. Um, A is located at two five, and B is located at negative two, one. So we're gonna say the distance is equal to, and let's do negative two minus two squared plus one minus five squared. So distance equals negative two minus two would be negative four, negative four squared would be 16, and one minus five is negative four, negative four squared would also be 16. Okay, so we get the distance is equal to the square root of 32, and we could simplify this by saying the square root of 16 times the square root of two. So the distance is gonna end up being four root two. Okay, so now when we compare our distances here, we see that we have two root two and four root two. So the mid segment is half of the side that it is opposite of, okay? So that gives us um, two characteristics about the mid segment theorem. Okay, number one, the mid segment and the side that it is opposite of are parallel. And also the mid-segment is, we'll write this down, mid-segment is one half of the opposite segment, okay? All right, so a couple of things now, we can look back at this original diagram and we can tell a couple things. So let's say, for example, segment DE here, that's gonna be parallel to segment BC, okay? Those two sides will be parallel to each other and DE will be half the distance of BC, okay? Mid-segment mid FE will be parallel to side AB, and it will be half of side AB. And mid-segment DF will be parallel to segment, or to the side AC, and DE will be half of AC, okay? And that is the triangle mid-segment theorem.